Welcome back to Four Wheel Drive 8080 Adventures. Here we are at the Brisbane 4x4 show. We've given the Jeeps a little bit of a test out on their four wheel drive track. Can't beat an 80 series though, I don't care what you say. Best four wheel drive in the world. Fact. Anyway, there's plenty of vans here. This is down at the actual arena. Lots of stuff here. We'll go over here and have a look at this bed for today. Eh? There's a little bit of nostalgic four wheel driving. Check that bugger out. Oh, Bedford with a LS V8 in it. Go around and have a look in the back, eh? Oh, yeah, she's all decked out with a bed, fridge, hammock on the back. She's a streamer. Bedford, eh? Have a look inside. Got all the gauges, so you know. Got all the temps and voltage and the speed and oil pressures. It's like it's an auto. I'll whack a few of these videos together. And um, put a bit of an entourage together for the next segment. Back again, just a quick squeeze on this side of the show. Bushwhacker. Out back electrical on air. Escape reality. That's what we all want to do, I think. Why we like forward driving. That's a beast. The red art. Big Silverado. Check that big bugger out. Need to have shares in a fuel company. Bushwhacker Company. I think they do awnings and whatnot. Four wheel drive accessories. Plenty of nice units here. There's um, the Australian Bushman's vehicle. He's well known around the traps, been doing it for years. Check that bugger out. That's what you go around Australia in. Outboard on the back, all the gear. And buy a nice easy one if you want. Over this way, or we'll get to the bought not built stand. We'll have a look at the patrol first. Let's put a Cummins in it. Very nice, all set up in the back. 
Oh, the drawers, hot water, camping, gas, hot water. And there's the 80 matey. The turbo 1FZ FE motor in it. Sorry about the wobbly camera. Till the next shot. Big bugger out. He's a streamer. 14 dozen people could go on there. Well, that, that's just a dumb fight. It's a, it was a dumb All the uh, electricals. Another spare bed here on the side. Bathroom. Toilet. Shower. Well. <laughs> He's set up. It was ridiculous what he could push himself Everyone else the ground. of what it looks like from the front. Commander. Check this winch out. Holy dooly. You'd want that to be pulling you out of the crap. He's a big unit. Anyway, put this together with the rest of them. Here we are at the Patriot Campers stand. Unreal. Check this bugger out. Check that welding out. And Ashton's got some skills. Have a look at that. Oh, real. Look at that paint job. There's a man himself, Justin. Just to give these out to I'm only taking one. Okay. Yep. 
Oh, Sarah. I like it. Very nice, really guy. Hello, Sarah. Hey, how are you? How are you going? Beard's a bit longer now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. Lots of campers at the show, as usual. Oh, I'm really impressed with that. <laughs> 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 Hello, mate. <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take a picture? Just give the phone to Yeah, no problems. Okay. So, Justin, what's your opinion about the glove box, mate? <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong colour. <laughs> wrong colour, man. <laughs> We are coming into one of the pavilions. All the 4x4 four four gear and camping gear. We'll do a quick lap. 23-0. Swags. Nice rooftop fan. Big 280, 270. Falcon awning. The BMW stand. We'll do the GBM upgrades on the units. Nice truck that one. Beautiful. Tough dog suspension. Opposite lock. Yeah. Ultimate tuning. Clear view. Threads. Got all the gear here. 
bread back, exhaust. Well, I've got my 80 series red back. 12 volt, direct. Jeez, that's a big battery for a 200. Having a quick squiz around, I'm sorry about panning around so much, but just having a look. Ooh, that's a big rig, that one. Super duty. Wow. Seventy nine series. Nice unit, that one. To the twenty three. Just stop it here and We'll go again down the next lane. Here we go again down the next lane. Nice unit. Airbag system. V3 Plus. Cruise Master. Oh, have a look at this rig. Holy dooly. That's what you call a truck. Wow, I've got to stand back to get all that in. Wow. That's a unit. The upright fridge, microwave, all the gear. What a big vehicle. That's huge. You got the money, you get the dashi. Nice. And a black bear. Nice outdoor setting for camping. Dashi do the top of the range, eh? Top tent flip up. A bit small for me and me missus. I forget the big one. Another Darcy camper trailer. Check that bugger out. Look all the gear. Darcy swags. Ah, that's the one. Wow. 
all the wheels you can get. Some nice ones there. Anyway, we'll pop out of this one and we'll go to the next area. There's another pavilion. AEG stand. But the big thing is we're going to the All for Adventure Dream Prize competition. Let's check those things out. Clear. Clear canoe. Huh? There they are. This is my first time to the big smoke, so be kind to me. <laughs> but yeah, I pretty much just got the phone call from Jace, another crazy idea, flew me down here to be amongst the part of the four drive show that you guys got cranking today. So uh, it's all new experiences for me, a bit out of my element, but here we go. Here we go, folks. So Simon's not here, but it doesn't mean we can't take the piss out of him. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Oh right, boys, let's get the party started. Disco. It's like this, it goes. Here it goes. He's out of it. Oh, don't let the game even try. No, no, that's where we're working. Oh, no. That's not good. Where's he gone? You go in here? No, don't let him go in there. Oh, oh. no, oh, oh, there's another snake right. there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there's two snakes. Yeah, there's one on the inside of him. You're kidding me. No. He's got a little, there's a snake pit. It looks like a deadly snake to me. No, he's a little. Well, should I show him? Grab it, I wouldn't. There's two of them. Putting that tail shaft on, and the snake comes out. Go, hey mate, how you going? That looks like a tree snake to me, dude. Yeah, yellow belly on him. I don't see how yellow belly. I see. Oh, proceeding with the bashing, and then there he is, right there. He's under your car. See? Right there. Go away, snake. You give an eye to the bashes. It's probably hang around because of the vibration. Got him! Oh! 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 We dropped the camera, boys. Straight into the snake pit. The temperature has dropped heaps. It's cold before, it was really cold. Yeah, the temperature's dropping. I have more scissors we walk through the water. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Now we've both played this game before. Yeah. <laughs> what are you up to, top of the pants? I'm going to take my pants off and I'm going to walk through there and go naked. Yeah, I'm going to get my pants off. Yeah, I'll get my shorts off. Do you want my white leg? Yeah, it'll be good. Do they? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too cold for this, dude. Oh. That's all the, um, you know, behind the scenes, having a bit of fun. Uh, there's no doubt about it, we get up to a fair bit. We get up to a... Give me a minute, I'll be talking all, uh, all three days and my throat is starting to die again, as it does every year. 
You don't want me to lose my voice, otherwise I won't be able to draw the winner. Alrighty, so yeah, that was the behind the scenes bloopers. Now, just recently I, um, I rang Jesse up and I said, mate, we gotta go up north for a trip because we gotta film some unleashed, you know, unleashed stuff. So what I did was, I, um, I did a little uh, bit of a rebuild on Swampy and I rang Jesse up and I said, mate, let's go up north for a wet season run. So guys, just to paint the picture for you, if you haven't been up north yet, it's very seasonal. And uh, where I'm from, when it starts to rain, you just batten down the hatches and you just ride out the wet season. And uh, sometimes Jason calls me up with uh, pretty crazy, borderline stupid ideas. And uh, he wanted to go north to the Cape in the wet. And when he rolled up my driveway, there's one thing that I noticed straight away, he had swamp truck. And I have to admit, Swampy is a beast. I look around the show today, lots of shiny, fancy trucks. Give me Swampy every day of the week. That is a Cape York basher. There you go, folks. So here we, I decided we'd take Swampy up north for a Cape York wet season run. Now, this is Unleashed.TV. If you guys haven't subscribed to Unleashed.TV, I'd highly recommend get in there and subscribe to it. There's so much more to see and do on Unleashed.TV, including getting extra entries into competitions and stuff like that. Now, this is a little sneak peek of what we're gonna drop next month on Unleashed.TV. The thing that I found the most that when it comes to this whole wet season setup, you've really gotta be a lot more prepared. There's, there's all those things, the fact that it's, it's a lot more remote, there's no one around, you've got no help, you're only on your own. And uh, the storms roll in, you get big scuds of rain and wind, and, and you know, all those sort of things come into play. And you've got to be really careful and shit like that. But you do get to see some really, really cool country. Just follow on my tracks, mate, follow on my tracks. What did you do, Jesse? series of, uh, of uh, this trip here in the, uh, the top end during the wet season has been, it's been memorable, you know, we've done a few things. Yeah, it's been tough, but you know, that's the wet season, you've got to take the cement out. <laughs> <laughs> Cover concrete. <laughs> just a second or two, some of that stuff was a pain. Like days were out there shoveling and max days, tracking. Mate. Every time Jesse got bogged, we had to get him out, that's for sure. I got bogged a lot, guys, that's what I do best. <laughs> but as you can see, I also got bogged in the big 200 as well, with the trailer on it, but that's swampy. I'll tell you what, it's one hell of a recovery vehicle, there's no doubt about it. But all that, what you've just seen there, is a, a preview to what we're gonna be dropping next month on Unleashed.tv. Um, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking we sat around the fire and we thought, what are we going to call it? Yeah, we had a bit of smack talk with naming that series. What was it again? Uh, I think we might call it Swampy Unboggable. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah. It gives away the name a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does give it away a bit. It's a bit unboggable, old Swampy. 
Right guys, so um, we've got some uh, stuff we're going to be dropping uh, very soon as well. And that's going to be like in the next week. And that's on Unleashed.tv as well. So some pretty cool stuff coming up in the next week. Here's a little sneak peek of what we're going to do. The numbers that have come out of this truck are insane. 580 horsepower and 1,770 newton meters of torque. See how this puppy goes. I want to test it in probably one of the harshest environments that you can test time. Sorry about the wobble. It's bad back, can't hold yeah, this thing straight. A soft sand usually sorts out any vehicle when it comes to towing on the beach. No worries. Yo, baby. Just chatting it up, mate. That boat at the moment is probably about 4.5 tonnes. Does look good, eh? <laughs> This is the track you don't turn around on. That's the real test. That's the real test today. What do you reckon, guys? Who got to see it? A lot of people up there looking at it, taking photos with all the all the lights and all the uh, colour coding and all that sort of stuff. It is an absolute weapon of a truck. So uh, there's no doubt about it. It's going to be a cool release. Now we've also got a really, really, really big announcement straight after the draw. Okay, straight after we draw the winner. Do not disappear because I'm going to drop an apple. Jesse and I are going to drop an absolute bomb. Okay. Not, 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 not like a bomb. Not like, like, you know, don't, we don't, yeah. No bombs, okay? No bombs. We're not going to drop bombs, we're going to drop something. All right? So, um, but in the meantime, mate, do you remember, do you remember last year's winner? Does anyone remember? No, they probably went, yeah. Well, apparently we've got last year's winner here. Is he here? Who is he? There he is! This is last year's winner! And Jeff, Jeff won this last year. There you go, Jeff. Good guys, how are you? There's a winner right there. They're like, oh no, no one wins it. No one wins it. Well, there's a winner right there, mate. What did you do with the Lindy Albury Adventure Dream Prize? Well, it's actually parked out in the car park now at the moment. It's parked in the car. <laughs> Caravan's still at home. The tinny's in the shed at home too. Wow. And I heard that he started up an Instagram page and your hashtag is I'm not coming back to work, boss! It was almost that. <laughs> so where have you been in your uh, prize truck, mate? Well, I haven't been anywhere much yet. Uh, we've been out to Canyon Gorge and just a few local trips, but we're planning a trip up to the Cape this year. Hopefully we'll get there a bit later on, about August. August, so there you go, guys. So the person who wins it today might be able to hook up and they can just do a Live the Offer Adventure Dream Prize. Twin around Australia, hashtag suckers. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Jason. So there you go, guys. Um, that's what it's like. I, was, I thought you would come up here and say, yeah, man, I just traded it all in. I got a big pile of cash. I tried to trade it, but you wouldn't give me black and black for it. <laughs> no, I didn't swap black and black. Who knew, like, who knows that we gave black and black away? Yeah. And none of you won it. <coughs> Poor buggers. Yeah, that's the trouble with giving one vehicle away. I can't give everybody a vehicle. But the person who won it, so this is another competition winner, he, um, <clears throat> he's actually got it down in Victoria now, but I actually sent that truck to Darwin for him. And he's been driving it around like he's a, a rock star. So there you go, Black and Black is out there somewhere. If you see it, take a photo of it. Anyway, mate, thank you. Thanks, Chase. Thank you, awesome. On your and, um, thank you. Yeah, hope you enjoy the, the prize draw up at, you know, the prize up in the cut. <laughs> Oh, he's entered the next one! What a stitch up, huh? <laughs> Go sit down, you lucky bastard. <laughs> what are we going to do if, he put, if we call out Jeff? Redraw! Yeah, we like, wake up, Jeff. Wake up, Jeff.
All right, guys, so um, I think we're getting pretty close. Now, I'll tell you what I might do is, I might, um, uh, what I'll do is I'll run the promo for you, right? I'm gonna give you one last look at it. All right, this is one last look at what you guys are gonna win, okay? So, in about literally minutes away from drawing the winner, and this is, have a look at it, and have a think about it, it could be one of you guys here. If you're dreaming of hitting the open road, then don't miss your chance to live the Ultra Adventure dream. This year, we've assembled an awesome prize package worth over $215,000. There's a brand new Isuzu D-Max. Looks just like mine. It's got the best gear from the best names in the business. Got everything you're going to need to get off road. And it's got all the gear to get you out of trouble if you get stuck. There's a Jago cross track for your home away from home. You're going to need some toys. There's a boat and outboard. And some great fishing gear to go with it. Not to mention, there's five grand to spend with our friends at BCF. And one lucky person is gonna win the lot. And look, you can boost your chances to win with bonus keywords. And if you're an Unleashed subscriber, you double your chances to win. So register now and you can be living the all for adventure dream. Jeez, you're a generous bloke, mate. I know. <laughs> How cool is that, guys? Who wants to win it? <laughs> all righty. Let's see what we can do, eh? Now, I'll just give him the go ahead. Yep, here we go. So here it is. The winner is in here, okay? So this is the winner of how much was it again, Jess? Uh, a lot. <laughs> it was over $200,000 worth of cool stuff. The D-Max is up there, you've had a look at it. Now, first thing I'd like to do is, before we um, draw the winner, is I'd like to thank all the sponsors who have contributed to the Live the All for Adventure Dream Prize draw this year, the season 13 of All for Adventure. And you know who you are, because there's a truckload of you guys, and um, they're the reason why this can all come together, okay? That's why it's over $200,000 worth of stuff, and um, it's the fact that all you guys out there support those brands in this industry that allows all this to happen, okay? And the fact that you guys watch All For Adventure, because that's what makes it happen as well. If you didn't watch me, I'd have to go home. All right, so if you didn't watch us, we'd have to go home, I couldn't do TV, and I couldn't give you guys a chance to win over $200,000 worth of gear. Yeah. All right. It's a pretty good giveaway, guys. Like, it was set up like that, Chase. You can go anywhere in Australia. It's pretty good. You, you can. Hook her up, drive off, clap around Oz. What's the hashtag? Suckers. That's it, don't forget that one. All right, guys, here we go. Can we do a little build-up or a drum roll? Nah, we don't do that anymore. Here comes the drum roll. All right, the winner, the winner of the Series Come 13, on. Live the Old Adventure Dream Prize, major prize, is Amanda A from Postcode 2529. Oh I haven't heard a scream yet. <laughs> there we go, guys. Amanda is probably the luckiest lady in Australia to, at the moment. Damn. There's no doubt about well, that's it. The end so, of yeah, that. another big round of applause for Amanda. Um, everybody can to you. Everybody can Hopefully, this is the worst. This, I feel so bad. Not me. There's a lot of disappointed people in the crowd right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not. Hello, Amanda. Um, did you enter live the Author Adventure Drink Prize draw? Yeah, this is Jace Andrews from All for Adventure, and I got Jesse Crampton here from All for Adventure as well. You are the winner! You're so cute. No, I'm not kidding. You are live at the 4x4 show and you have won!
happy for a two month trip we're leaving in June <laughs> to go to Darwin <laughs> oh my goodness how do you feel right now Amanda oh, I'm in shock <laughs> I'm in shock that is awesome that is awesome alright well we're gonna we're gonna hand you over to um, one of our team and we'll I'll get back to you uh, shortly we'll anyway up. And, uh, but anyway, congratulations. And here's the crowd, they reckon it's good too. Yeah. Yeah, How's that cool. Is? That's incredible. That's cool. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that um, entourage of videos at the Brisbane 4x4 show. If you like my channel, please subscribe and like, and our adventures will continue in the future. Okay, see yous.